guys, what's going on? It's a video, and today, welcome back to another Arx File Evolve video. And today, we are finally playing on the 187.0 update up there. We got my house, which uh, we are going to need to talk about a little bit. And I actually need to talk about a little bit because we there's a brand new fun story. I just died to something up there, and uh, it's the brand new gigantic ant. I don't remember the specific name, but the giant ass ant is up there. So we're bringing Diego up. Uh, I died. I lost everything. I'll explain this a little bit because as I get up there, you guys will probably see what happened. But I mean, perfect opportunity right off the bat to show off the, the damage and uh, also what has happened. So somewhere around here, I died to one of the one of those whatever the hell their names are. I don't know where it is. I think it was inside of the house. Uh, someone broke into this. I think I lost my industrial grill, which is kind of a dick move, but that's cool. Oh, and there's the uh, the tit Titan Omira. Is that how you pronounce it? Right there. That's the bastard. Oh, God. Uh, it's so ugly. Just look at it. It's hurting Diego. Yeah, but that's the thing. The Titanorama soldier right there. Just take that thing out nice and easy. I think they got nerfed, too, because this is like a 187.2, that's like the official patch or something, so I think it's been nerfed a little bit, but uh, as you can see here, I've yet to see the damage, all I know is that while I was at my friend's lake house, because I was leaving for the weekend, I was informed that someone raided me while I was offline, which is pretty much goes against server rules, so I'm pretty sure they're just gonna get fucked up the ass for doing that, because, I mean, offline raiding is not really, I, I don't know, I'm just not gonna bitch about it, it's whatever. If you can tell, I am salty, but I can't really do anything about it. Yeah, someone broke into the base. No clue who it is, no clue why. They probably stole all our shit, which kind of sucks, but... Whatever, we're gonna have to deal with it. There we go, okay. And I did put in some trap doors and shit to make this a bit more complicated, but, I mean, stuff's still intact, so maybe... Maybe some stuff will still be here. I don't know, I mean, the fabricator's still here, so that's good news. Uh, at least we got that. I, the shit in it's probably got... No, it's actually in there. Surprisingly enough. Well, I mean, we still got our raw resource. I guess someone's just breaking in to fuck with us, which... I mean, that kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, we died with this. I don't think... Yeah, that's just our specimen implants. Uh, our bed is almost broken. We actually should repair this. What do we need to repair that? No, no, we're gonna have to get onto that. Anyways, uh, those are the new ants. We could go looking for some more, too. Someone painted our door, like, the Star Spangled Banner, I guess? And, uh, yeah, so hold up, real quickly, I do want to do a little bit more up here, because this is a struggle and a half, there we go, we should be able to go into here, and do we still have our stuff, uh, we got a bow in there, I think I put my stuff away, oh, thank god, I wasn't a dumbass for once in my life, we still got our stuff, oh, we survived the raid attempt somewhat, I mean, honestly, the worst that came out of this besides the fact, I mean, it's just a dick move to do that. I mean, I understand, like, raiding is different. It's like, I think it is the server policy. The server policy is pretty much that you have to, like, consent between- I don't know, it's it's kind of like iffy, but offline raids are definitely a big no-no. Just because, I mean, offline raiding is kind of stupid. I, I don't know, it just seems like you can't fight back. Until we get auto turrets, but... I'll come one day. Anyways, uh, yeah, we just got a bunch of stuff here, so... Uh, we didn't lose too much, surprisingly enough. I'm actually shocked that we did not lose more. Uh, so that's good. We... I think we have the raw resources, maybe, to make another industrial grill, but obviously... We're gonna have to do some work. Uh, these walls, I guess, came in handy that they were stone, because no one broke into them. They broke in through the structures in the bottom. We got, uh... Still a bunch of hide and spark powder there, I guess. Wait, was that any? Is there any metal there? A little bit. We could get that cooking. Uh, I do probably want to go ahead and lock these bastards. They they are locked. Oh, so that's good. Then how? Wait, how did it open? Huh? It's locked. How the hell did? I mean, I guess that's good. It did protect people from getting up here. I don't know who opened it. Maybe like demo came up here and checked or something. I don't know. All I know is that we kind of got screwed, but I mean, we got some keratin here. That should be another 10 cementing paste, and we had cementing paste somewhere in one of these. I'm just not entirely sure which one. I think it's actually up here in the fabricator. We had 32 cementing paste. Yeah, so if we really do want, we can't craft up another industrial grill. Like I said, it sucks that we lost it, but I mean, necessary losses is part of the game, and I guess it's an obstacle for us to climb over in our, you know, epic arc tale, so it's all good. It's all good in the hood, as long as we can just do this so we can go adventure out, and... Uh, is everything good here? Just making sure. Inventory. 
yeah, we're pretty good. I mean, we've got our armor. Let's go out hunting and try to find ourselves some more of these bad boys. And probably have to go ahead and repair this, which isn't going to be awful. Honestly, the worst part of it is the fact that we did lose the industrial grill, which actually sucks a lot because that's pretty expensive to make. And, I mean, I, I don't know, it's just really stupid that someone would do that. But that's enough bitching for now, we're done with that. I mean, the electrical stuff up there is still good, so... Honestly, I can't be too mad. Someone raided us, and whatever. Anyways, Diego's got some level- oh, Diego's got some level ups. And 10 chitin. Also, oh, where did we kill those other two ants? Because they drop a lot of chitin, and I like that. Also, sorry if I sound really nasally, I was at the lake house for, like, the entire weekend, so that's why I was away and stuff. Otherwise, I would have totally done something about this right away. Uh, let's see here. What do we got? Uh, he's got... Actually, he's got a lot of levels. Holy shit. Let's do his movement speed a little bit. Uh, never mind. He had one level. Uh, we, though, are very close to leveling up to. Damn it. I thought we were a bit closer than that. And then uh, over here, I think that's Danielle. Is anyone on right now? Uh, Josh. I don't even know how to look at the player list. I mean, I could do Steam Overlay, but I usually turn off Steam Overlay when we do this. Anyways, uh, yeah, so it seems that the ants, at least this one time, they did spawn by our house, so it is... That might be good, because that's going to be a good source of chitin. I'm just kind of mad that I cannot figure out where the hell those dead bodies went, because I just realized how much chitin we're kind of missing out on. And actually, I think there's the new dinosaur over here as well. Hold up, we're checking this out, we're checking this out. And we might actually be able to tame this bad boy. Uh, over there, that's not a pteranodon, that's the other one. That is the dimorphodon. Yeah, that is the other new dino, boys and girls, right there. Mmm, look at that. Look at that sexy thing. Look at it. Do we try and tame it? We don't have trank arrows or the bow. Oh, we forgot to take the bow. That's what we did. All right, let's take the bow. Let's try and trank this thing a little bit. Honestly, we could probably knock it out, but uh, this should be pretty easy to tame from what I've heard. Estimates say 20 minutes, so honestly. And also, it's pretty much a flying Dilophosaur or a flying Dillo, so we can name him Ferb. We can name him. We'll name him Ferb 2.0 in memory of Ferb 2.0. Actually, no, we'll name him Ferb 2.1. Don't want, don't want. The name being taken over entirely. And let's just go and get our bow and stuff. Uh, crap. There we go. Keep going up. And do, 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 do. close that. Get off that. And we should be able to. Yeah, this is a struggle. As you can tell, these trap doors, because I placed them in a really weird way, have kind of messed with us a little bit to the point where we kind of just kind of fucked. Ah, ah, beautiful. Beautiful parkour right there to the max. Uh, here's our bow, and we got like. Oh shit, I thought we had more than one trank arrow. Crap. Oh, we do. Yeah, good thing. Actually, it's pretty convenient that as this thing happened, I did move all my shit from the bottom chest up. I don't know why, but hallelujah for that. That's actually a blessing in disguise. I think I actually put these trapdoors down after the stream, so. Whew, I am a lucky man for that. Anyways, we got the trank arrows, and we got a dream. And to Diego. Diego's probably the one fueling the dream, to be honest. Because he's going to be getting us the meat and stuff for it. And, uh, honestly, we got to do is find this thing. And, actually, there's someone over here. Might as well say hi to this guy. Ow. Damn it. Hello! How's it going? Who is this? Oh. How's it going, Josh? You, you doing good over here? Oh, you're throwing me stuff? What is this? Oh, damn. Thanks, Josh. Uh, if, if you want to give me some, sure. You don't have to, but... Oh, is that... Oh. I guess there's a friendly building over there. Okay, well, I mean, he's nice. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and do him. We're gonna put you, Diego, on passive. Because I got to go ahead and get ourselves... A nice... Demo, I believe, is gonna be the pronunciation for it. Because it's like a Demophis... I... Dude, I'm, I was never good with the dinosaur names. So, here he is. Demomina, Domina, De Domino. We'll call him Domino. Alright, so all we gotta do is... Hello, motherfucker. Oh, we hit him. He doesn't seem to give a shit. Come on, you're not even gonna, like, fight me? Does this thing ever land, either? No, well, his topor should be going up a lot from that. So what we gotta do is just continue chasing around a little bit. And this is gonna be a good opportunity here. Oh no, that waterfall is an awful opportunity. It's bringing our frames down like crazy. 
And right there. Oh, we actually hit it that time. Shit, it is pissy. It is definitely pissy. Ow. Alright, well, we're letting- Ow. 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 Where is it? Is it just- It's just above us. There we go. It's another hit. Okay, we're gonna let it strafe towards us a little bit. I think we got it. Again. Oh god, this thing's actually a nuisance. There we go, that's another one. Hey, we knocked her out. Oh, we don't have narcotics for this at all, do we? Shit, 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 shit. We gotta go. We gotta get narcotics. Uh, do you by chance have any narcotics at all? Cause I, I gotta go grab some, anything like that. I just knocked something out. Yeah, all right. Can you just throw a couple narcotics in him and make sure he doesn't wake up? I'll use my own. You don't have to use too much. Thank you. All right, that is a nice guy there. I don't, I don't want to waste his narcotics. I'll pay him back too. I don't want him just giving me all his stuff. But, uh, okay, we gotta go and grab some narcotics real quick, and also we gotta feast a little bit, so, uh, you are going to die really quick for the good of the cause. We'll probably take out, uh, whatchamacall as well. We'll take out Queen Carnage as soon as... Yeah, so we'll get the narcotics. We'll put Diego back in the pen. We'll take out Queen Carnage, because Queen Carnage is a lot better when it comes to getting meat. So that's gonna be a lot more useful. And, yeah, she gets more meat and a better chance of getting prime meat than Diego, which is honestly... Best case scenario right there. Leave that door open because people can climb into the house anyway if they really want to. And, uh, okay. Just open two doors at once. Let's, uh... No! Uh, shit, God damn it! My house is a struggle to navigate. I wish these, like, things lined up better. Uh, oh, beautiful. Can't believe we actually did that. And we got only ten narcotics. Well, shit. Fuck me. Ah, uh, never mind. We're good. We got a lot more than ten. I don't even have to take this much. Come on, this thing's like a little baby. Why do we have to use that much on it? Uh, I'll also grab a little bit of wood, a little bit of thatch, so we can craft up a torch? Or do we need a flint for that? Uh, guess what I got? A single flint. Yeah, so it's getting, it's getting to be nighttime, and I do want this person here to be all good to go. We'll starve it a bit. I mean, as long as it stays unconscious, we're good to go. And I will give that guy back some narcotics as a thank you. And he did also give us some stuff, so... He's actually a nice one. I'm leaving behind Diego because I'm an awful father. Father figure, actually. I don't think I could technically partake in the birthing process of a uh, saber tooth. Albeit, science does have certain extremes, and we've yet to reach them. Uh, there we go. No. Ah, whoop, Jesus Christ. I was like, kind of ollie off that shit. What is this? This isn't Tony Hawk. This is Ark. All right. And then let's get. The meat off of you. Never mind, Diego ate it. Probably because he's starving now that I think about it. Uh, Queen Carnage. Oh my god, they're having like a dino orgy over here. What are you guys doing? My god, it's... Oh, you know what? We'll just take Diego. Whatever. We're gonna murder anything in sight anyway, so... Yeah, whatever. This is... It'll bu Okay. Just lag me into here. Love you, Ark. Love you so much. There we go. Let's do that. Get out of here. And make our way over here. Uh, I think he's over there. I saw the knocked out thingy, my bob. Here we go. How are you doing? Uh, oh, he's actually feeding it for us. Wow. What? Oh my God. He's got a lot of narcotics. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna tell him you can you can take those back. Actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw my fifty in there. Uh, shit. No, I'll just throw my fifty and I'll tell him to take his narcotics back. Yeah, you can take your narcotics back, man. Thank you though. Thank you. And I'll give him these ten. And here's here's some extra for your trouble. Thanks, man. Yeah, I saw that. Thank you. Oh no, you can have it. Seriously, it's okay. You use a couple on him, so it's all good. Uh. Oh my God. Why do people shower me and stuff? Okay, I guess he's. Uh, alright, well, that's all good. But I owe you, man, alright? Remind me, and I will make this even, because you're just gonna be a lot of stuff here, okay? So, thank you. Jesus Christ. Jesus. This guy is, like, insanely nice. I need to put more meat in him. Alright, well, that's nice of him. Also, apparently while we were gone, a Spinosaur attacked our pen, too, so... Uh, this is turning into, like, downtown Detroit very quickly. Uh, yeah, it's not good. It's not good. Anyway, speaking of that, I was actually just in Michigan for the lake house, so that was pretty interesting. And is that another demo, whatever the hell they're called? I don't know. And I don't think we can even fly this. I think this is... Oh, I thought it disappeared. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> no, 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 we're good. 
And we just gotta go ahead and watch this thing tame for a little bit, which is... I mean, if we could get some prime meat, that would be nice. We maybe take this opportunity, now that I think about it. Oh god, I gotta steam! God damn it, why is this happening right now? Huh. I haven't sneezed like all weekend, and then all of a sudden, now it's just like, Oh, you gotta sneeze, bruh. And it's like, oh, okay, I guess I do. Well, he's a couple of those. Let's go grab Queen Carnage if we can. Remember where he is. And let's make sure, like I said, this will maybe... If we get prime meat, this is going to be so... We could use kibble, too, because that was added in the previous update. Uh, I just have no clue how the hell that works. So if any of you guys in the comment section are geniuses and happen to know, I would very much so appreciate that, because I have no clue what's going on with kibble. I seriously don't. And Peter here's actually got some levels, so... Oh, no, I wanted to level you up, Peter, but okay, there you go. You just stay... You, you stay... I'll level you up a bit. We'll get you guys some meat as well, whenever we get extra with Queen Carnage. Uh, work on your movement speed, because we want you to be a good flyer. And let's hop on Queen Carnage over here. And she's got to level up too. And a bunch of assorted shit as well. I'm taking that. And the one keratin. The one keratin. Only one. And uh, we'll keep working on melee damage with them. Or with her, because melee damage affects what she gathers. And it also makes sure that she can fuck shit up. Because our... Our, our Queen Carnage, eh, it's pretty, pretty damn nice, that is for sure. No! God damn it, this little, like, servo lag I thought I didn't jump on. Uh, is he just, does he just keep throwing meat on? Is that, he has a trike? Oh, damn. No, don't worry about it, I don't have to keep throwing stuff in him, it's all good, man. I got this. Damn, he's just throwing stuff in here. What a nice person, he's mate boosted. Oh god, why is he mate boosted? No, oh, it's just throw us stuff. Throw us. Oh, thank you, man. Yeah, don't worry about it, though. I got this. Huge thank you. If you ever, like, want me to craft you a saddle because I'm higher level, feel free to tell me. I'll do that. I think that's fair because he said you can't tame much. You're only level 18, so... Just let me know or something. Now then. Time for us to go ahead and fuck up everything within a five-mile radius of here. Yeah, what the hell is that? Is that your brother? Coming to save you? Uh-uh! He's coming to get me! Ugh! Alright, we missed. This is gonna be a struggle. We can we can one hit this, right? How do we not just one hit that? You're you're joking on the fact we did not just one hit a flying like stick. This thing's a lightweight. There we go. Now it's dead. Whoa. That is some weird light. Okay, speaking of weird, I don't know what's going on here. It's some like demonic possession. Six raw meat. Oh wait, Queen Carnage is gonna eat it all. No, bad Queen Carnage. We're putting this in in our new dino, our new pet. The new Ferb. Where are you? Here you are. And, I mean, it's already a third of the way here and we've done nothing, so... As long as we get that prime meat, we will be good to go. And, I guess we'll just kind of go out and go hunt. I mean, we haven't taken Queen Carnage out in a while either, so it's kind of a good opportunity to do that as well. Have a little bit of fun there. And, uh, might as well whip out the torch so we can see. We got some Dillos we can just bring to slaughter real quick. Yeah, I just, I just... He, oh my god, he wasn't even bothering fighting me. He's just, he, he was trying to eat his best friend. I just killed his best friend, and he's like, yeah, I'm not gonna fight you. I'm just gonna go and eat my best friend, and just pretend maybe you won't see me. That strategy did not work out for him. It was a bold move, though. And, uh, I guess it did not buff out for him, so we just got like six, yeah. I don't think meat matters at this point. Let's just see if we can get any prime. Uh, I know there's a, usually a good chunk of stegos over in this valley. And, uh, honestly, you know what else I'm excited about, too? The Broodmother, we're getting very close, very, very close to being at the Broodmother. And that means that we gotta be prepared, so luckily, I think I still have my shotgun. I'm uh, gonna be crafting up a good chunk of ammo for that, hopefully. I think we'll spend Monday's stream doing a lot of prep work and also repairing our insanely fucked up house right now. Oh my god, is that someone's base? Or is that just a pen? Damn, it's like civilization just sprouting up around us. It's crazy. Especially since we don't really have that special of a house. At least yet, it is going to be special if people stop breaking into the bastard. I don't get why people would break my industrial grill. That's a dick move. I haven't been a dick to anyone. Except I did kind of, from the last video, I just realized that I did take quite a bit. I, originally, when I was, when I, whatchamacall, or a couple videos ago, when we met with the misfits or whatever, and they gave us, like, extra materials, I thought, oh, maybe they're giving us the extras, whatever to kind of keep, but, uh, because they didn't ask about it, so that was, I guess, my hypothesis, but, uh, in hindsight, I probably should have asked me, like, hey, do you guys want the extra materials back, so, I, maybe I pissed them off with that, in which case, that's kind of justified, so I can't really be too mad, is, we gotta get one prime, not even one prime, god damn it, 
Yeah, so I wish you guys that'd be kind of justified, but if not, I don't really think I've pissed off anyone on the server, so it might just be someone going rogue, being a dick, anything like that. So, that's always fun. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue our struggle of trying to find the prime meat to make sure this bastard's tamed. We should probably run back too, because he doesn't have the most topor in the world. Or, wait, was it a girl or a boy? I actually did not... Hmm. Never paid attention to that. We should see that. Also, this is a really cool house around the cliffside. Not gonna lie, that is some prime-ass real estate they have invested in. Okay. Slide on down here with Queen Carnage, who has absolutely no stamina, and who seems to be breaking the game every time she moves. <laughs> and just missing a bunch of frames. And what the hell is sleeping bag? What is this? Oh, Josh. Okay, I'm not gonna fuck with Josh. Josh has proved that he is a chill cat. He's a cool cat, so that is very nice. Uh, I think this is house. Actually, very established house for what he is. I think a level 18. That's that's pretty solid to have like a nice little gated area around it and everything too. Uh, all right, yo, Mr. Bird, where you at? Where are you? Where'd it go? Ah, oh, fuck. Is that it? Did we lose it? Did we lose it already? Like, oh my god. Is this it in the grass? I, uh, what the fuck have I done? Should have stayed near here, but no. I had to go running around, being an idiot, and there's a chance that we just lost our dino. <sighs> That is a cock tease if that's the case. Because we were getting pretty close and that had a lot of narcotics on it too. Who the hell would kill it? Probably like a dillo. Fuck. I'm not seeing it. Uh, well, um, I guess there's next time for that because... This time, he seems to be dead. So next time, we're definitely going to be a little bit more prepared here. Uh, it's going to be a quick taming process, so honestly. We'll probably just use... Next video, we'll, we'll just tame it nice and easy. I'll probably cut out a bit of the middle stuff of us just running around and all that. But, uh... Well, shit. It's dead. Yeah, it is, uh... I, I could go ask him, but I don't think I can... Like, he, he was here. I do remember that in relation to this base, so. Um, Rippy Dippy, boys. We may have managed to accidentally kill him somehow. Uh, wouldn't surprise me. We may have managed to do a lot of shit. Uh, we still had 55 narcotics, so we kind of just wasted all of his narcotic, which kind of sucks. Because now I feel like a dick, because he was putting that to good use. Or at least wanted us to put it to good use, and we just blew it on a dino. So I guess we're gonna be a lot more we're gonna be a lot more prepared next time. I'll have the prime meat prior to it and just store it on Queen Carnage. But uh as unfortunate as that may be, I guess that has to be the end of the video. I was actually looking forward to taming the rest of that. Guess that's not happening, but uh I mean hopefully you guys did enjoy it besides this ending, which May or may not have brought a tear to my eye. I don't know. I don't use face cam. This is why. Because I cry when I lose dinos. But, uh, I, not really. Or am I really? I don't know. Am I kidding? I uh, guess we'll find out. But, uh, yeah. That's gonna go ahead and do it for... Oh, someone left us wood. It's the misfits. Well, they can't be the ones that have raided us. Because the misfits are like... They just gave us more stuff. I feel like they would have taken this back. So I don't know who the hell did this. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna burn their house down. Literally. We can't- there's not even the mechanic to burn the house down. I'm gonna mod it in, and I'm going to do it. But, uh, you know, while I plot my revenge, you guys, leave a comment. Tell me what you thought of the video. Do all that stuff, because that's gonna do it for me. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, if you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Signing out. Love you guys. See ya.